because we've got that much movement at the moment, uh, what we're going to do is take all of this off, going to elongate that hole and hope we've got enough, uh, so we've got enough to adjust the backlash out of here. So I have to take all this portion off. As you saw, the uh, the, the quill wheel, the fine macro, micro one, anyway, the fine wheel that's up here, that has got a worm that goes through there, and on here there's a, you'll see the sharp of that, and that's got the other half there. So what it is, the piece that came off, that's this one here. So as you saw that, that's a, your fine uh, wheel adjustment, and inside here, that's your worm there. Now that worm actually sits onto this one, which physically sits up there like that. It's a bit dirty, yes, because that's on the inside. Anyway, so that's got a set of teeth on it. So the worm actually, uh, that worm meshes on here. So what I'm going to do is, um, on here you've got uh, two sections. You've got uh, one bolt there, then the other bolt uh, is here. So what I'm doing is, this one here will be just very snug. This one here, I'm going to, I'll see if I, yeah, there it is. I can actually elongate that upwards, I don't know, probably a half mil, probably a mil or whatever. But then that will give me a very fine adjustment. So what I'll do is by allowing that for the bolt to be able to come up, so to speak, because this will come down, then that worm will mesh a lot better onto this gear 2 system and then that'll take the excess slack out of it or that's what I'm hoping to do and then instead of having a, a quarter of a turn on the wheel well I was having it from there to there would just slack this way I can adjust it so it's only a couple of thou so what I'll do is I've, uh, I've got this 14 mil end mil that will come into here as you can see That'll go in there, elongated fraction, and then that'll be spot on. Anyway, I'll uh, just set it up and I'll be back. All right, I've got this set up at the moment. I've got a, a 14 mil end mil here. I've got the hole there. I've got uh, I've got it set up with a dial gauge so I can know I'm going to give approximately one thou uh, cut on it, and it will go that way. And I've also got my uh, stop on this, so I can't go too deep. So it's already preset on there. Right. Just lock that up. in approximately uh, one millimeter there so what I'm going to do now is I have to take this particular end mill out and I'll put another end mill in which will elongate the hole exactly the same amount all right we've virtually finished all this <laughs> I think we have anyway um, I've elongated the the main hole where the actual bolt goes through so the head will go in there so it's got a lot of movement in there and then I've elongated the the shank or the OD which is the ID in there so what will happen is I'll clean all this up now put it back on and uh, we'll see how we go with if we've taken enough off or not right, what we do is we get this assembly here then that one fits inside like so it just sits there take the key way out oops that will sit up here like so that'll go right in Now 
on the back here where we've got our elongated hole there that's where the adjustment will be or we hope it will be anyway Just snug this one up a fraction. Alright, as you can see we've got this uh, unit back together, uh, we've got the uh, fine adjustment back on. Now, if you have a look at that little line there, before, like if I try and move that up and down, it, there's just a, a very bare minute movement, and if I turn the wheel, as soon as I start turning it, it's moving. So, I don't know if you can see that, but anyway, uh, which means I've probably got... <laughs> I don't know, one thou clearance on the T, something like that. But uh, overall, if I go through and tighten this wheel up here, in other words, that's locked on into here. So as I turn that, you can see that's going down and that part of the assembly is going down as well, as you can see. So we've achieved what we wanted to. As soon as I've move it even a fraction it's already moving you can see the the wheel move as soon as I do that so it's so we've achieved what we wanted to I'll just loosen this back off a bit so that will now work normally so that's all ready that's finished so we, we can go back on to other jobs all right thanks for watching and uh, we'll catch you on the next video